Hi there, Mike MacArthur from the Oshkosh Public Library, here to uh, thrill and amaze with some more Library and Learns. <laughs> This is the series where I take a look at a little bit of uh, Oshkosh history that I've wondered about myself or people have asked me while I've been at the library. Today, this is actually a twofer. I get asked about this monument uh, fairly often. I also see it every single day. And, but unfortunately, usually my experience is something like this. I'm driving along, I'm driving along. I see some stuff. Hey, oh, there's a flag there. That's nice. What's that? Oh, okay. Well, that's where I should pay attention. Oh, look, a, oh, oh, look, a guy. A guy! Oh, should I stop it? Oh, no, never mind. All right, back to the room. Of course, I'm talking about the Hiker Monument. This monument to the veterans of the Spanish-American War uh, sits, again, kind of right on the corner uh, on Algoma and what is now today Congress, uh, across the street from the Payne Art Center and the Oshkosh Public Museum. The story of the Hiker Monument starts in August of 1939, when the library board received a letter from uh, Henry Triver, commander of the Nelson Camp No. 1 of the United States Veterans of the Spanish-American War. This letter was uh, petitioning for the library board to create, quote, a suitable monument to the memory of the soldiers and sailors of the Spanish-American War. Quick refresher, the Spanish-American War was a 10-week war fought in 1898, principally for the Cuban independence from Spain. The United States got involved in the war after the mysterious sinking of the USS Maine in Havana Harbor. At the end of the 10-week war, the U.S. claimed several former Spanish colonies, including Puerto Rico, Guam, and the Philippines. People probably most remember the war for you know, images of Teddy Roosevelt and his Rough Riders. Wisconsin mobilized its National Guard and about four infantry units uh, that participated in the war, though none of them ever actually saw combat, I think, directly, and most didn't actually leave the United States. However, dozens did die of illness and sickness uh, while training, because those are the days where, you know, illness was more likely to kill you than a bullet. Back to 1939, General Charles Ruggles Boardman, who was a local businessman, and a veteran of the Spanish-American War who actually very interestingly helped uh, organize Wisconsin's Nav National Guard for mobilization during the war. He had served in it and he also served in World War I. Fully embraced the idea noting that Oshkosh hadn't done really anything for these veterans. You might be asking why the library board was being petitioned for this and it's because the library board acts as trustees for the uh, Colonel John Hicks called Memorial Trust Fund that takes care and manages most of the public monuments in the city. It was named for Colonel John Hicks, who was the publisher of the Northwestern, who was a big library board member, uh, and really just a big proponent of public art and monuments in Oshkosh. In fact, most of the kind of iconic monuments in the city are due to Colonel Hicks, including the lions in front of the library, the Civil War monument, the Chief Oshkosh mon monument, uh, the Schertz monument, as well as any number of busts uh, throughout the city, often in front of schools. Uh, the former Chase home, which uh, was selected as its location, uh, which was actually the originally Felitas Sawyer's uh, home, Senator Felitas Sawyer, who also helped get the library built. The statue itself is known as the Hiker because the veterans of the Spanish-American War were often referred to as hikers because of the large amount of foot travel they had to do. It was sculpted by noted artist Theodora Alice Ruggles Kitson. Kitson was born in Brookline, Massachusetts in 1871. Early in life uh, showed an extreme uh, talent for, art, for the arts. She apprenticed with sculptor Henry Hudson Kitson in 1886 and the two married in 1893. She was so successful that she was actually the first woman to actually be admitted to the National Sculptor Society in 1895. The hiker is actually uh, one of about 50 versions uh, of this uh, and it is in different places and used to honor the memory of the veterans of the Spanish-American War, the Philippine-American War, and the Boxer Rebellion. The monument was dedicated October 22nd, 1939, and was quite a to-do with you know, a grandstand music and speeches by uh, people including Mayor Oaks at the time and Adjunct General Charles Ruggles Boardman. So let's go take a closer look at this monument. Let's go check it out. So here I am at the actual Hiker Monument. I have to admit, this is actually the first time I've gotten out and walked up to it. This specific location was chosen, one, because it was the uh, former home of Felita Sawyer, it was on this property before it was knocked down uh, or raised a few years before the erection of the monument uh, in 19, 
uh, 36. Uh, but also uh, because it's a, it was and is a main thoroughfare in and out of Oshkosh, so it would be very easy to see it. The other reason this spot was selected was that it is on the way to uh, Riverside Cemetery, which is about a half mile down the road on Algoma Boulevard, and uh, rightfully so, it would be a it would be easily viewed uh, when there were pro uh, processions of veterans, you know, on Memorial Day or Veterans Day, uh, down uh, Algoma Boulevard on their way to uh, Riverside Cemetery. The boulder that the hiker is actually uh, standing on was brought in uh, by truck from Poissippi actually. It weighed about 58, it's 11 feet high and it weighed about 58 tons. And apparently it was uh, quite a sight seeing that being uh, hauled in uh, down Algoma, Algoma Boulevard. So if you're stopping by the, you know, the Payne, which is off, off to my left here, or the Oshkosh Public Museum, which is off to my right, you know, take a moment and stop by and check out the hiker monument here. Uh, it is a really beautiful sculpture and an ode to the veterans of the Spanish uh, Spanish-American War and you know American imperialism but whoops so hey I learned something if you like these videos want to see more uh, hit like hit subscribe comment share etc etc and with that I'll see you later